All right, thanks for watching, and let's figure out when 2 to the x is negative. But wait, isn't it positive? Not in the complex world. So in fact, let's figure out when 2 to the z is negative. And this is very nice geometrically, because what does it mean to be negative in the complex plane? It means you're on this part of the axis, so your angle is pi, and therefore you want to figure out when is 2 to the z equal to r e to the i pi for some r. And in fact, if you want to make it even spicier, add multiples of 2 times myself. And so, in particular, if z is x plus i y, then what we want to figure out is when is 2 to the x plus i y equals r e to the i pi plus 2 pi m i, where m is any integer. And we'll see there's something quite nicely going on, at least geometrically. So, what happens then is, what is 2 to the blah? Well, it's e to the ln of 2 times x plus i y, and that's equal to r e to the i pi plus 2 pi m i. And then, well, then you can separate out the real part and the imaginary part. So this becomes e to the ln of 2 x times e to the i ln of 2 y. And that is r e to the i pi plus 2 pi m i. And now the nice thing is you can literally compare the real exponentials and the complex ones. So now what we get is e to the ln of 2x equals r. And that helps us solve for x. So e of ln of 2x equals r, where again r is any positive real number. And that gives you ln of 2x equals ln of r. And that is x means ln of r over ln of 2. But actually, the interesting thing is then, what is x? Well, notice, this is valid for any uh, positive real number. So if you think about this, this just means that x can be any real number, if you just choose r suitably. So any r. That's one thing, and then, more interestingly, let's figure out what happens to the imaginary part, so the, to the imaginary complex exponentials. Well, here the cool thing is, you can just compare the exponents, and then what you get is then the you following. Get i ln of 2, y equals i pi plus 2 pi m i. And then y, so the point is the i's cancel out, and y is pi over ln of 2 plus 2 pi over ln of 2 times m. All right, and now we can finally describe geometrically what's going on. So by the way, so what is our solution? It's x is any real number, and y are those specific imaginary number or like specific real numbers and really what this looks like on the complex plane it's quite interesting it tells you that the solutions are just vertical lines separated by 2 pi over ln of 2 so the first thing would be the line y equals pi over pi over ln of 2 and the second one would be pi over ln of 2 plus uh, 2 pi over ln of 2. And then continuing, the next one would be pi over ln of 2 plus 4 pi over ln of 2. And similarly for negative things. So if you want to figure out when 2 to the x is negative, it just happens on all those lines. And which, if you want, you can also repeat the same thing and figure out when 2 to the x is positive. Well, it does happen for the real axis. 
But then it turns out you also get solutions that are uh, parallel uh, horizontal lines, which again, it's very neat and shows you something very interesting about complex numbers. So complex geometry is something that's actually very relevant, but also kind of fascinating. All right, I hope you like this. If you want to see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.